What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, we're partnering up the Meter Box Company to teach you guys how to wire one of these 120 volt metered outlets for your mining rigs. Now, these things are awesome because you can actually reset them every month and know exactly how much usage you are using on your electric bill. So, I think it's fantastic. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to wire it. Disclaimer I'm not an electrician, I'm just spreading my knowledge to you guys of how to wire one of these. Now, also, they're doing a massive giveaway this month. It is totally free to enter. You do not have to buy one of these to actually be entered to win an iPolo. So I highly recommend you guys check out the link in the description. I will also run an ad at the end of the video so you guys can read that. Now, guys, appreciate you all for watching. Let's do it. Right, so here we are with the lineup of stuff you guys are going to need. As you can see, I have my iFixit kit right here. We have a drock meter that's still in the box. We have a 120 volt plug. That is a 20 amp outlet. It is labeled right there on the corner. It's kind of tough to see, but it's 20 amp, 125 volt made by Leviton. You guys can grab those at pretty much any hardware store or Amazon. I'll leave Amazon links down in the description below, but the meterbox.com also has these available. So feel free to go there. You need two wires. This is just a red and a black random wire. If you guys have seen my previous video, how to wire the 240 volt outlet, you guys can go see exactly how I obtained these wires and pretty much every miner has those wires kicking around. We're gonna need a pair of pliers and then a pair of wire strippers. Now, let's get into the meter box itself. I wanna show you guys what this thing looks like. So. As you can see, it is a very nice, high quality, like PVC. It is very sturdy, to be honest. This thing's not screwed together, as you can see, but it has the outlet opening and the drock meter opening. It has the two tabs available for the drock meter to snap right in. So you don't have to break anything off like those other uh, 3D printed meters. Then it does have side mount holes as well as back holes and the other side. So you can literally rotate this box however you want. There is one hole on the top that does not come with this grommet. This is a 5 8 grommet that you guys can get pretty much anywhere. I'll leave links in the description below to those as well. So whatever side the wire is coming in on, say the left side, you can then orientate the box lid to go that way. Or if it's coming from the bottom, same thing. You can orient the box lid to face the correct way. So that in itself is fantastic. Now, let's move over to the first step of what we need to do to get this thing you know fired up so this is my iFixit kit obviously we're going to need a phillips head screwdriver at some point but first let's open up this digital drock meter now this drock meter is good for as you can see it says 40 to 300 volts so this is good for 120 or 240 outlets if you guys uh you know choose to use these feel free i mean this is kind of the entire point of this meter box now this right here is a digital reader and also it tracks the time so if you're somebody that likes to host rigs for other people you guys can use these meter boxes to track the kilowatt usage per month and then this little button right there is a reset button and you can just pop that with a pin or the tip of a pen and that will reset this drop meter so you don't have to continuously write the number down it'll always reset itself back to zero you can run it back up for the month and then you know so on and so forth that way it's easy to calculate your wattage use for your mining rigs even if you wanted to do this at your house to write off your electric bill you could do that as well all right so i just removed the phillips head screwdriver out of the ifixit kit the thing i love about this is the swivel that it has it's like a stationary bit you could palm and you can twist without it affecting your grip now i will leave a link to the amazon store down in the description below and i have a tool section where all these tools will be available down there now we're going to take this and as you can see it is already loosened up on the right and left side of this outlet what we need to do though is remove this screw right here all right so once you remove these screws you can just discard them because you don't need them the meter box actually sends you some screws to use for this unit so these two with the nuts are going to go on each side of the outlet holding it onto the face of the box and these four with the uh, coarse thread there is going to be going in all four corners of the meter box so i'm going to put these aside as well i just wanted to show you guys that it comes with those now if we take this drock meter you can see on the back side there is 
a green section right here. Now we're going to have to change the bit in the screwdriver to a flathead. And this is where you put those two leads on. It doesn't matter which color goes where, but that's where you need to install them. All right. So flathead tip is there. Now we're going to take these two wires first off and we're going to strip each side of them. So now you're going to take that wire you just stripped. You're going to feed it into the terminal and we're going to tighten it up. Now, once it's tight, you should be able to give it a little tug and it will not come out. So, you know, it is fully secure. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. All right. So now you can see we have these two leads right here that are both stripped and you guys might notice this circle end on the other side. So the hot wire from the electrical wire that you're going to wire this with is going to go directly through that circle or this is going to go over it so it can read the current that's going through the wire. Now, Right here, you guys might notice off to the side, this is an appliance whip that you can get at like Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon, wherever. Again, I'll try to leave this in the description below. This is a three wire. It has black, neutral, and then, or hot, neutral, then ground. And this is, um, yeah, it's pretty common. You guys can pretty much get this anywhere. Now, this gauge wire is probably 14, if I had to guess. Now, 14 gauge wire for this outlet is okay. Typically, if you're doing a 20 amp circuit, though, you would like to do a 12 2 wire because it's a little uh, just a little more heavy duty. So if you guys can use 12 2, do that. 14 2 will work fine, but 14 2 is mainly made for 15 amp outlets. So just know that. All right. So next step, we're going to take the drop meter. We're going to bend the wires down. We're going to throw the circle through the top. Now you want the dot or the reset button right there, as you guys can see on the right hand side. Then you're gonna basically push and snap this in. It's fairly simple to do. Might give you a little bit of a struggle, but that's it. So now that is installed. The hard part is installing this guy in here first. So what you wanna do is get the wires all hooked up to it and then mount this. So what we're going to do is now take our box. I'm gonna push this stuff aside. I wanna take this wire, okay, that is already stripped. It already has a regular wall outlet end on the other side and we're going to I'm just going to pull those off because it doesn't matter I'm going to feed this through the rubber grommet I'm also going to strip this wire a little bit further you guys may need a knife for this so thanks to uh, Mr. Altered Component he sent me a custom RGB knife for Christmas so I appreciate him for that we are going to put the ground wire in first so Obviously, we want to make sure it's a nice, tight, twisted connection. You're going to stick it in between the washer. If there is one on there, if not, you're going to put it clockwise around the screw. So when you're tightening it, it does not loosen up or come out of the, uh, the joint. Now you're going to give that a little tug. It should be good. All right. So after I connected the ground, I realized these wires were a little short. So I just stripped it back a little further. Now, Again, like I mentioned before, this guy right here goes over the hot leg. Now, when you're doing a 240 volt outlet, both of these legs are hot. They both carry 120 volts. In this application, only this one is carrying 120 volts because it's only 120 volt plug. This one right here is a neutral. So this has to go over the hot leg from what I understand, at least. Now, looking at the brass and the silver screws, black goes to brass and white or neutral goes to silver. That's how I always remember it. Now, what I'm going to do is tuck this wire right in here. And then we're also gonna have to grab one of these wires. Doesn't really matter, but I'll just choose the black one because it makes sense. And we're going to tighten these together down inside this terminal and this washer should pinch the two wires together. Now we're gonna do same thing. Going to take the white and we're gonna stick the white into one side here underneath the washer and we're going to take the other side red and stick that in right next to it we're going to tighten this down as well all right so now that's all tight and we can give it a little tug it's not going anywhere so that is good and that's pretty much it now what we're going to do is take this you're going to push it back and as you can see all the wires are kind of just you know jumbled up right there on the back side um, I typically like to take electrical tape and wrap around this outlet like prior to screwing it to the lid 
but it's not necessary you don't have to do it it's just a safety precaution that i like to do but i don't have any electrical uh tape right this second and one thing i want to point out when you guys are doing this you're gonna have to snap off these extra tabs so there's a long tab here and if you look at this outlet it has a crease on the right and the left sides all right well unfortunately some of these are a lot tougher and they don't make the grooves enough so what i'm gonna have to do is go grab some tin snips so i can snip this straight across all right so you're gonna have to cut them off in three different sections so you got one there as they fly across the room two there and then three straight across so that's what it should look like when you are done as you can see now it will not impede with the edge right here or going into the box so now what we're going to do is take the screws that they provide us we're going to stick those through and that's pretty much it now it's all together all we have to do is put the screws in all four corners and we are done and check it out that is literally it you can see 120 volts the watts is zero being pulled because i'm not using it for anything and then this is the kilowatt hours that will register right here and it will be able to be reset right through this button like i said before if you guys ever needed to reset it and monitor each month or each week or however you want to handle it so what you guys think hopefully you enjoyed that i mean honestly i really enjoy these things i'm going to be putting them in the crypto mining trailer so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that but now i'm going to run that ad i don't want to make this video any longer i appreciate you all for watching and i'll see you guys real soon peace out the meter box a familiar product to this channel is back with a new lid that finally offers a solution for home miners using a standard 125 volt outlet to measure their power usage in real time it's available now on their website use the link in the description for a discount off your next order because of the new lid they're now running their biggest giveaway yet for the entire month of july giving away over seven thousand dollars worth of prizes like an ipolo v1 mini classic plus a 3600 watt x12 octo miner tons of meter boxes limited edition nfts and a bunch of stuff from gpurisers.com Check out their new meter box and enter this amazing giveaway, no purchase necessary. You may also purchase items for additional entries and even better chances to win. The meter box contest is worldwide, extending through the entire month and ending on July 31st. Winners will be announced publicly on August 5th.